final speaker for our today's forum. Our final speaker is uh, Dr. Julius uh, Kusuma from Meta. He's a research scientist where he works on data center sus sustainability. Data centers are very important as they enable our apps such as Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, uh, Quest, uh, and data centers also run the internet. Uh, one example of his work is showcased on the Tech Meta website where he worked with the research and industry experts to use AI to optimize uh, concrete formula. He has developed, uh, they have developed a new AI model that optimizes concrete mixtures for sustainability as well as strength. In early field testing, uh, carbon emissions were reduced by 40% while uh, strength requirements were exceeded. If successful, uh, the impact of this work could reach well beyond uh, data center construction as it applies more broadly to the general construction industry. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for the invitation, Nishan. What a time to be in AI and sustainability and concrete. I used to live in Boston. Uh, my wife used to work for the um, ICA, Contemporary Art Museum. It used to be the only building here. Everything else was a parking lot. I used to tell people who come up from New York, you drive up here, you park, they don't think of you. Then you take the red line up to my house. Now you cannot see anything. It's four buildings, concrete, sustainability. This is the time to think about sustainability. Um, but I know your number one question, which is, what is a guy from Meta doing here? Right? And I'll tell you why. One, we know a little bit about AI. We want to help contribute. Second one is um, data centers are really important. And we have made a commitment to be net zero by 2030. And unfortunately, when it comes to data center construction, concrete is number one source of CO2 emissions. And we want to be able to reduce it. In fact, up to last year, we do the cradle to grave com computation, it's 30% of the embodied carbon in the data center construction. Um, for this audience, concrete is not new. We've been working on concrete for a long time. We know how to optimize for strength and cost in whatever the format of cost was. Volume, weight, dinars, copper, favors, transportation. More recently, we've started to optimize for speed because we want to build fast. We want to get things going. We want to build and enjoy it. And the last one is sustainability. Now this is new, and this is asking for quite a lot. Two dimensions we know a lot about over time, and two dimensions that are fairly new that needs to be discovered, along with all the innovation that comes with them. New materials, new processes, new cement, new everything. We need to discover how to optimize concrete formulas quickly. This is a difficult optimization problem. And I believe that AI is needed to accelerate this. And we need to do this together. We've done some testing. This handsome fellow you may recognize in the picture. Because we are new to concrete. And we needed experts to help us understand how we can help the concrete industry decarbonize. We started with a lab test. Some basic AI, some basic data that looked good. So good, we were able to convince our construction partners and our partner to test them. And we built a data center building based on the formulas that we discovered together with the help of AI. Um, let's talk about data, because data and AI go hand in hand. Unfortunately, as mentioned earlier, good systematic clean data is not easy to find. So now the AI has to do two things. It has to be able to absorb from whatever data source is available. And it has to both learn and generate new formula that could then be tested, such that we could then develop a pipeline of data and AI and learning. And to do this, it has to be able to optimize from two competing objectives. Am I learning something? Because if I want to learn something, I might have to go out quite a lot. Maybe I make mistakes. Maybe the formula will not be good, but it will tell me the boundaries. And the boundaries are important. On the other hand, I have to do optimization. I want to optimize for sustainability, minimize the GWP, optimize 20 days length, optimize one day length of speed. Fortunately, we've done some work in this domain. We're a fan of PyTorch. This is an AI machine learning platform that is open source. And BoTorch, BO in BoTorch stands for Bayesian optimization. Because we think we can optimize for learning and for the KPIs that I mentioned before, simultaneously and over time, the AI gets smarter and hopefully get better results. And this is important because like I mentioned before, we have new materials and they tend to be regional. 
and we need to learn what different conditions in which we want to apply the concrete. We have some results that look compelling, I think. We can predict strength curves. Um, the blue one is Portland cement. Green one, substitute 20% with fly ash. As you expect, greater strength from fly ash, slower early strength curing because of it. Um, here's the nice thing about Bayesian optimization is that it improves over time. So let's look at a few KPIs one at a time. 20 day strength, structural strength requirements, right? You have to meet that. Let's look at GWP. And I apologize, these AI only want to optimize by maximizing values. And so you just flip the sign for GWP, you get negative GWP, right hand side is more sustainable. At the same time, let's also look at one day strength, the left hand side plot. So we started with some human source data, um, batch one and two. AI generates batch number three, gets tested in the lab, feeds it back. And then we go to batch number four, batch number five, as you can see, over time, you get more and more data points that go upward to the right hand side, which means stronger, faster, more sustainable. The nice thing about the toolbox that we use is that you can also learn about the space of trade-offs in terms of the Pareto front. Instead of having to make many, many, many tests and not knowing have I reached the limit or not, this AI can tell you what is achievable under some constraints. For example, you could say, I want the water to binder ratio to be greater than 0.2 because I want it to be easier to work with. I want it to be greater than 0.35 because I want it to be even easier to flow. Then I can get the things done faster. I can get a donut. Maybe I can remove some materials. What if there's no fly ash in this place? It's the wrong season, maybe. What if there's no slag? Maybe different kinds of slag. I can get these answers and maybe put this into the design phase, into the operational planning phase. Um, so here's one thing that I would like to get your feedback on. What if we make AI accessible? I think this is important because like I mentioned before, there's a lot of new materials being discovered, new processes, new things, which is amazing. But at the end of the day, they need to all be turned into concrete formulas to be practical under operational constraints, supply chain constraints, cost, and other objectives. What if we could make basic preference formulas available? On the other side, what if AI integrated into design and construction workflow? We've seen some great examples today. I think there could be more. AI and data go hand in hand, and this is an important consideration. If there is basic free data, maybe there could also be premium data for those who are willing to invest in integrating AI into the way that they operate. And maybe these are compatible approaches to AI and concrete sustainability. Lastly, we like to make innovation accessible. Um, we just open source the basic AI, pre-trained and some basic data. You can just Google for it. We like Google, by the way, your friends. Um, we just published a paper in NeurIPS about this. If you want to know, you can find it on archive. And I look forward to the discussion. Thank you very much.